Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with my first layout using the November kits. Now the video is going to start off and you're going to see that I've already created my background. So I wanted to tell you really quickly how I did that. I used some Evergreen Bow um, Distress Ink and the packaging technique and also some um, Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold Lame, which is right there, and just let that dry. And I did this on Canson watercolor paper that is 12 by 18 and I just cut it down to 12 by 12. So this picture is from last year and it's my gold slippers on our deck with some snow. Now I live in the south, very close to the Gulf of Mexico, and we get snow mm, maybe every few years <laughs> and it's not very much. So I had to, you know, take a picture of it because it doesn't happen very often. Now, the piece of paper I used in the background is a piece of vellum from a previous kit. It's a gold stripe diagonal vellum, but I just needed something back there, and I had that on hand, so that's what I used. If you don't have this, you can use regular vellum, or you can use regular vellum and then emboss some gold stars on, or some gold stripes if you want. Either way. And then here is a die cut of a deer head that I die cut out of a piece of paper from last month's kit um, of a wood grain. And I didn't get to use it, so I thought I would use it on this layout because I really like the way that it looks. And I love the way that it looks on that shipping tag. And that is a basic gray tag. Um, sorry, guys. I realized that my video was not fast forward. I'm like, why is it 19 minutes? <laughs> um, now it's going in fast forward. So I'm just arranging the embellishments that I'm using here on the layout. And these are from the Pink Fresh Studio December Memories line, I think is what it's called. These are from the ephemera pack. We get several different things from that line in the kits this month. And um, I use the ephemera pieces and also some of the epoxy stickers, which have some of the same images in them. So that was really fun to get kind of two of the same image but in different textures. So one is an epoxy and one is just a um, cardstock die cut. So I'm going to adhere the pieces onto this tag and then put the tag up on some foam adhesive because I have my picture on foam and I want it to, I want this layout to have some kind of ups and downs. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my layers of paper and these two papers are both um, Kim Wadston design papers who is on the creative team and she is also creates a lot of the products for the hip kit club she does an awesome job and I really like these papers they're really pretty I love the the different colors for holiday projects <clears throat> I always like that I like that these are very close to traditional colors with just a little bit of difference so the green is just a little bit teal and the Red is just a little bit pink, so it's really fun. And of course, I love the gold. So now I'm going to continue with the clusters of of um, ephemera here. I love this little stack of presents, and I mean, why not? It's just my feet in the picture, why not? And some snow, why not add some presents too? I just think it's really cute. And then I'm, here I'm gonna use the epoxy version of that little house that I use on the right-hand side, and I really like the way that that kind of creates a balance on the on this layout to have the same images on the left and the right. I don't know, I just think it looks cool and I might do that again in the future. I think it'd be fun. And I have combined all of the different kits here, the embellishment add-on, the main kit, and I think I even have some pieces from the Project Life kit just because I work with them all together. So you can check out on the website and see exactly what came from what. Now, I have a real struggle with the title because I want it to say First Snow, but I try all these different alphas to, because there's a bunch of alphas in this kit, to figure out the way that I wanted it to, to go, and I just couldn't quite get it right. So I decided to change the title to First and Only Snow because it was the only time that it snowed. And I used a combination of the thickers and the October afternoon little skinny um, red alpha, which I love. It's it's like a block alpha on one side and then like a tile alpha on the back. It's really cool. So th it's right here. Yes. So I don't know if I, I can't remember if I left in. Yeah, I did. I left in trying all of these different options. I probably should have edited this out. 
<laughs> but you can see how they look differently. And my only hesitation with using these in the beginning was that there's not like a whole ton of each letter and I didn't want to use them all up because I still have more projects to go. And there's quite a few of the letters on these <clears throat> alphabet sheets. And these are from Pink Fresh Studio. Now this teal one is exclusive to the hip kits, but the red one is the one that comes with the collection that you can find in a lot of different places. So I just wanted to let you know that. Also, how awesome are those um, cray paper stickers that are like the the hearts and stars and I think circles too. They're great. Oh, so fast forward to me having put my towel down. I'm just adding some strips to the top and the bottom. I added some of the gold washi that also comes in one of the kits. And I think that's going to finish up this layout. So thanks guys so much for watching and make sure to check out the December kits because they're awesome. If you like Maggie Holmes and Cray Paper, you should definitely check them out. Okay guys, I'll see you all real soon. Also, before I go, make sure to check out um, to log into your account on HipKit Club, even if, and check out the cut files and the printables because they're great. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>